Do the two of you come today to be each other's wedded partner and promise to ride through the highs and the lows now hand in hand as husband and wife? Yes. Sounds good. Chelsea, I am so truly grateful that I came across your Tinder profile that fateful night. It truly was love at first swipe. I thought it'd be really nice to get to know the bride and groom a little bit better. Who is more likely to be late? Yeah, I was gonna say. I will never forget the lead up to Chelsea and Kane's very first date. In very Chelsea Louise fashion, she was, I reckon, an hour late. The bestie keeping me hydrated. I can still remember the time you took Charles on your first date together. You were so happy and excited when we spoke afterwards. Over the next few months, we could hardly get him to stop talking about it. Our connection was instant and effortless. So instant, in fact, that you moved in after four weeks of us dating. <laughs> Charles told me she met this guy. And then like the next phone call, she's like, yeah, I moved in with him. I was like, what the fuck? It didn't take long for me to realize that what we have is a truly special bond and that my life would not be whole without you by my side. When Kane called me and asked me for my daughter hand in marriage, I was shocked. I was like, boy, do you know what you're getting your ass into? Fuck me, suspects. The motherfucking bride on there. Oh. Chelsea and I met in America in 2015 when we both worked at a summer camp. Naturally, Chelsea and I got on absolutely fine given that we are the two loudest assholes in the room at any time. It was impossible not to become friends as we screamed, up the bum, no babies, every time we did a round of shots. You'd be classy, baby, you'd be classy. <laughs> As a mother, all you want, of course, is for your child to succeed in life personally and professionally, which Chelsea's achieved, and I couldn't be any more proud of my firstborn. Oh, you can touch me! You can come up and touch me! <laughs> damn! You look good, baby. God damn. Okay, yeah. I'm picking up a thousand words, yo. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Go ahead, Chelsea. Beautiful, Chelsea. Beautiful, Chelsea. Thank you. But one of the most satisfying rewards is seeing Chelsea find love and happiness, which she is absolutely found with Kane. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting married. Don't think about it because I'll cry. I can't believe this is real. Chelsea and Kane, you two are a perfect pair and complement each other so well. You radiate happiness whenever you are together and it warms my heart to see you both so in love. No girl ever wants to dance with a fool who went and ripped his pants. Kane, a.k.a. Kane o was from the moment he popped his head out of his mum's belly a very loud baby. As Kano grew to a little boy, he had quite an imagination on him. He would often give us a puppet show of his wrestling figurines. I first met Kane when he joined our senior gridiron team of the Northern Raiders. He was such a shy and reserved person back then, but he's grown so much. He is more outgoing and confident in himself, someone I am proud to call my very good friend. Kane's like, Fuck. Brother I never have. I said all day, don't cry, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys are the most selfless people I've ever met. I'm so glad that you're in my life. Yeah. Back to being a baddie. <laughs> Since our long distance friendship began, you have grown in confidence. I have witnessed you fall in love with yourself. I have witnessed you fall in love with Kane. You are unapologetically you, the most caring daughter and the most supportive sibling. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Oh, I'm so grateful that you guys are here. I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> I really am. I know, we're sweating profusely. Bro, this is me, guys. So all thing I want to say to my oldest, my boldest, and my coldest, I love you with my, all of my heart, and I'm glad I'm here for you today. It has been such an honor to see my favorite person in the world, my beautiful, loud, opinionated, bossy, and at times irritating big sissy, grow so much in the time that she's met Kane. You can't break my vibe. Fiance, it's crossed out. Husband, here's a little something to hopefully keep your feet warm. So excited to be yours forever. I love you, Kane. Love, Charles. You love her endlessly, hype her up on a daily basis. Kane, you are everything I could have wished for Chelsea. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Kane, you are such a good and genuine man. You are gentle and reflective. You are curious and non-judgmental. You are passionate and sexy. 
and you never say no to taking a photo with me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not many people know this, but he's also a bit of a dancer too. Something like this. I would often notice him do a little bit of a shuffle from the early age when he was playing on the PlayStation. And from what I've seen, she's a good dancer as well. Maybe Kano taught her some moves. <laughs> better dancer? I asked the persons here present, our closest family and friends, to witness that I, Chelsea Louise Heath, take you K. Michael Taylor to be my wedded husband. Oh, no tears. Okay, I've got it. Oh. I ask the persons here present, our closest family and friends, to witness that I, K. Michael Taylor, take you, Chelsea Louise Heath, to be my wedded husband. I mean what? <laughs> I am a lady. Elegant. I promise to. Always kind to listen when you're giving me a very thorough rundown of how, against all the odds, you've managed to crawl back to the top of your fantasy league. <laughs> and most importantly, I promise to make sure nobody touches your nachos. <laughs> Pause for laughter. <laughs> Ready for him, let's do it. Chelsea, I love you. And in front of all our witness gathered today, I vow to always laugh with you, be your sturdy rock in turbulent times, always keep my beard at a length that doesn't freak you out because I look too much like my dad. <laughs> to always be appreciative for everything you do for us, but most of all, love you fiercely and unconditionally until my last breath. You are the night to my day, the sun to my moon, the yin to my yang, the poo to my stinky. <laughs> To quote our favourite TV detective, Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Jake Peralta, you're kind and you're funny and you're the best person I know. Also, for reals, I love your butt. <laughs> and now that butt is mine forever. I love you, Kay. I just, like, love you so much. Can you kiss me, please? I think there's only one more thing to do and declare them husband and wife! Isn't this just silly? Isn't this the best day ever?